Okay. Now, this is how TCS numbers have moved so far. What we have done is that we have looked at last three quarters. Now, Q1 FY18, it was in line. Q2 FY18, it was in line. And Q3 FY18, again, it has been in line. So, I guess what TCS has done is that they pretty much have maintained, uh, they, they manage market expectations very well. But, you know, for stock prices to go higher, Muru Joshi, companies not only they have to uh, meet expectations, but they have to beat expectations and unfortunately based on the initial set of numbers which we have got, the beat from TCS is missing. So, Nikunj, again, I think if you are talking about the operating environment in which these IT companies are operating at this point of time, I think it is a pretty decent performance by TCS over the last three quarters as you are pointing out. Uh, the second aspect in terms of uh, the second half being traditionally weak is getting played out, uh, but a large element is also on how the spending patterns will pan out specifically for the BFS and retail space which contributes 33 and 14 odd percent respectively for TCS. Uh, in terms of the corporate tax cuts that one expects uh, US uh, corporates to enjoy, what probably flows through over the next few quarters will be very, very interesting. Uh, and as Ravi was pointing out, I think as Diligent and uh, Latam is showing signs of improvement, I think these two sub-segments which are major contributors, as they start contributing over the next few quarters, I think you should see a substantial amount of uh, earnings improvement. Uh, so, I am not disappointed in terms of what TCS has posted specifically out of the environment that IT companies are operating out of. Mayuresh, how do you see the stock opening tomorrow morning? No, again, I think I believe that if the management commentary is as uh, is written in the press release, I think a positive uh, opening not ruled out. Uh, and a large element is also how they perceive the dollar growth to be for uh, the coming few quarters. Uh, so, if one really presumes the dollar growth to be extremely strong, uh, yes, I think there is uh, no way that uh, the stock should probably underperform because uh, with the kind of moves that we have seen specifically in terms of digital contribution as a percentage of the overall top line, I think it is a very robust performance in terms of the investments that they have made in this vertical. Uh, so, again, I think expecting uh, commentary to be strong as per the press release, I think the strong uh, should probably open in the positive tomorrow.